Okay, it's about 25 This is what I saw. I love the look, look, look at how Willie really, really puts Cameron in front of me. Hey, Magician Rich Ferguson here, and yes, it's a blast to prank people on national TV, but let me show you a few simple methods of turning a table into your prank station. You can set this up at your next party in only minutes preparation. All you'll need is a cardboard box, two fold-up tables or two tables you can push next to each other, a cloth cover or plastic cover to cover the table, and serving tray lids. And if you don't have serving tray lids, you can use pots and pans as well, as long as the hole that you make is smaller than this. Put two tables end to end, get a piece of cardboard and cut a spot for your head so your head can pop through the middle. What's kind of funny is I'm using my buddy's cardboard from Meathead Movers because your head is going to be basically a meat platter. I thought that was kind of funny. You're going to want to cut a hole that's about 8 inches in diameter so your head can fit through. 8 by maybe 12 if you want your head plus your hand to squeeze through. If you're going to choose to squirt people with a garden hose, maybe some confetti or maybe an air horn. And the other thing you're going to do is measure the width of your tables and make sure your cardboard Board not sticking out like this is doing. So you're going to bend that over and tape it down or just cut it off. So tape your cardboard across both tables so it's secure. Then you're going to make a hole for your head. Once you have your hole, crawl inside and see how the fit is. Perfect. Now of course if you use one big cloth cover, you're going to have to run it by putting a hole in it. So here's what you do. Come together in the middle with two cloths to overlap the hole and make sure it's going all the way down to the floor, otherwise people are going to see you. And that's kind of stupid. All that's left is tape it down, secure it, and cut a bit of a hole out in the cloth. Alright, this is rough and dirty and it took me probably five minutes to set this entire thing up. The last thing you have to do is put different servings of food on the table hide in one of them and wait for your guests. What I like to do when I'm underneath is have a little bit of silly putty, an air horn, or if you're really ballsy and you're doing this outside for a picnic, hide underneath with a garden hose. Now you just wait until someone lifts the lid and then you pop up and scare the heck out of them. Of course, you can go crazy with this and create an entire table and cut a hole through plywood and all that stuff, but that's really not necessary. Cardboard works just fine. I just wanted to share a couple methods with you that are super simple. Now you can go on the other end of the spectrum and just get one big gigantic box and cover it with one cloth and pop your head through the top and just have one bit of food served there, and that would work just fine as well. Now check out this entire episode of me on the Today Show doing this prank in a more elaborate fashion. Check it out. Snacks with a twist. Uh, you were complaining they didn't have anything to eat. Yeah. So we've got some uh, we've, uh, new recipes. Okay, this is a grilled. The first one's a grilled cheese sandwich. Someone's under no, the table. It's a grilled you know. cheese. Ah, but. But can what? you tell what the grilled cheese is made of? Pimento? No. no. That, that's like cheese product, or that's like cheese whiz. No. I'm not trying it. It's pound cake and frosting. It's oh, oh it's pound cake oh. and frosting. Here, I'll try. Oh, that Go looks good then. Well, how could that be bad? I think it's not. That's on my side. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Number two, <laughs> ice cream sundae. <laughs> but guess what the ice cream is made of? Mashed potatoes. That's yeah, what it looks gravy like. Gravy and yes. tomato. Oh, that yes. Looks yes. That looks yes. fantastic. Okay, yeah. next one. Are these real? Yeah, no, no they read. Well, that's that was the good. Right. Not actual okay, well, okay. We'll okay. next one, fudge brownies. <laughs> This is uh, a professional prankster, Rich Ferguson. Look yes. at the Property Brothers. They are in awe. Yeah. They are in awe right now. Uh, you do that to us. Uh, we love you. Uh, <laughs> Natalie, have you. <laughs> Natalie actually has met Rich before. Uh, many Take a look. Times, Take Natalie. a look here. <laughs> the magic yeah. chair in our green room. I sat on a chair. In our green room. Just a regular little chair. Yeah. Yeah, just a regular oh, chair. Yeah. What are you doing all over here? What are you doing all over here? I was so ready to deck you then, and I'm ready to deck you now. So, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our special okay. 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 Next one, fudge This is what I saw. I saw you. Look at how Willie really, right. really, really puts Cameron in front of me. Watch, watch. Okay. Human shield, we call it. Look at this. He does this. Mr. Shield. Stay, stay, stay. Okay, what? 
Here it comes. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. We have to relive it. Oh, they re well, that's, that was that good. Three. Three. Okay. 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 Well, okay. Okay. Next one, fudge brownies. <laughs> <laughs> In your moment of need. You literally were like using it as a plunger <laughs> to protect <laughs> yourself. I was children protecting first, you. I was okay. trying to get you out oh. of there. I mean, my no, gosh, you have children in a wine. That was spectacular. You can't do that. Well, it's nicely done, my friend. Um, Thank you, sir. Wow. All right, let's show you what's going on. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that very simple tutorial, and I hope that some of you try this on your friends and family and let me know about it. That would be awesome. Uh, one other tip I thought I might share with you is if you want to put your face up inside of a platter and have someone put fruit and food around your face and hide you, it would be pretty cool to have people discover you versus you scaring them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please check out this other video right here. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys next time.